trap card coming out of Circuit Breaker today, and this card is called Struggling Battle. It is a normal trap card, and if you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand. So, if you have no cards, or if you control no cards, well, actually, no, I read that wrong, if you control no cards, if you control no cards, you can activate this card from your hand, which is pretty, pretty substantial. Uh, so, your opponent can't play around this ever, and you can activate this, and this card has a, has a pretty much just an easy, limitless activation requirement, other than the, the fact that your opponent has to have more things than you do, which isn't that hard to do. If you're behind, this card's going to be fantastic, it's going to catch you up. Uh, so let's just jump right into the first effect and see what it does. If your opponent controls more cards than you do during the end of the battle phase, make your opponent banish cards they control face down until the, they control the same number as you do. So, for example, if you have like one card, if you have one card and your opponent has uh, has ten, actually no, eleven cards, they have to banish uh, they have to banish ten cards off of their field face down. That is incredibly insane. They have, and, and it forces your opponent, and it's not, and it's not targeting removal, which is really, really good. Um, whether you play this card at two or three will remain to be seen. I think you should probably play this card at two, at, um, at most, because it is a non-searchable, searchable trap. I think that's the same way I, I, I play Solid Strikes at two, um, because the two is just a very easy round number to get at, and it's consistent enough to where you see it, but it's not consistent enough to where it's clogging up your hand. Uh, however, unlike, unlike Solemn Strike, this card you can activate it pretty much at any point in the, in the game. It's, so, for example, if, if it's during your opponent's draw phase and they happen to have more cards than you do uh, on the field, uh, and, but you can just activate this card for for no reason, just for free. And if they ever go into their battle phase, it they, they have to the banish cards out of it. So it kind of just mitigates their battle phase at the worst case scenario. However, I don't think you're going to activate this card if you're going to banish just one card. I think you're and probably not going to activate this card if you're going to banish just two cards. I think you're going to have to banish multiple cards. Um, of course, like three is probably should be the magic number for this card to be even effective. So uh, that's just my thoughts on it. So tell me what you guys think about this card in the comment section down below. I'll see you guys in the next video. This has been Team Metamorphos, and I'll be signing out.